The town of Elon Fire Department responds to calls every day with its ladder fire truck, but the current truck is reaching its expiration date. Our Joanna Dwyer has a story. When the Elon Fire Department receives a call, the ladder truck is the first vehicle to leave the station and go to the scene. The ladder truck is approaching 18 years old. After countless repairs, Assistant Fire Chief Charles Walker says it's time to get a new one. It just comes to a point where, you know, preventive maintenance and stuff on it is, is not enough anymore. Property taxes pay for emergency department expenses, but nonprofit organizations like Elon University do not pay property taxes to the town of Elon. Town manager Richard Rodner says there have been conversations about who will be funding the new vehicle, but no concrete responses. The savings we have has been from our taxpayers in the past. Do we make them pay for the new vehicle? Or do we have the taxpayers of the future pay for it who are actually enjoying the benefit of it? The truck will cost more than $2 million to pay for the parts along with special customizations. Rodner says it will take two years for the truck to be made and is set to be delivered to Elon in 2025. We use it on single story buildings on up to five story you know, buildings in our district. Uh, because it can just, you know, the versatility of that truck is only limited by us, really, um, with it. So um, it's a very important piece of our operation here. The Elon Fire Department responds to about 2,000 calls per year. That means, on average, they're responding to the community five to six times a day. According to Rodner, Elon University and Twin Lakes Community agree a new ladder truck is necessary, but no donations have been made. The town of Elon officially purchased the new truck and is set to use a payment plan to pay for it over time. We would love to have their participation since they're some of the prime users of the, of the, of the new equipment, um, but it's not something we can force them to do. The Elon Fire Department responded to calls specifically from Elon University almost 150 times and to the community over 450 times so far this year. Elon University Vice President for Finance and Administration, Janet Williams, declined a request for an interview. Joanna Dwyer, Elon Local News. Elon's town council voted at its last meeting to change the fire tax rate for Elon taxpayers to account for inflation and improvements for the fire station. Elon News Network will continue to follow this story.